Welcome to your Unit 3 Social Media in Business. It is extremely important that you follow these rules. You will need to carry out research on your own. Uh, you will need to work at home in your free time. You will need to make sure that you meet all the deadlines. And if there are any issues or problems, you need to see me before those deadlines have come up. I will not accept you being lazy in class. If I ask you to do something, we need to get on with it because we have to complete this unit and get started on the next unit that you need to do with me. You need to be on time for lessons. This is critical. There are documents that you will need. And what I've done is I've linked these documents here. You have two sheets, which are the task sheets that you need to complete. You have mark sheet A and mark sheet B and C. Again, these links are on the side here. And then you have another unit sheet, which is here, that you will need to carry out research based around that unit sheet. Now, the first thing I need you to do is I need you to create a Google folder and you need to call it your first and last name underscore unit three underscore social media. Inside that folder, I need you to create a document. If you create a Google Doc with the same name. In the footer, I need you to type your full name. And then in the header, I want you to type Unit 3 Social Media Unit. And then I need you to copy the information from the slide below and put it in your own words. I will explain this in class. So this is the information that I want you to put up top, but you're going to need to make this information your own. So for instance, the first sentence says the local chamber of commerce has many members who run a small business. So one of the things and how you can make this your own is you can say something like in my town of Epsom, and we have a local chamber of commerce and they have a conglomerate of businesses that are trying to learn how to use social media, um, something like that. But we can discuss that in class again. And then you need to make the rest of it your own. The first section that you will need to explain and you will need to, after you've explained um, and put in your own words the scenario, you will then need to put this in the next section because this is what you're going to need to talk about. So learning aim A is where you will need to explore the impact of social media on the ways in which businesses promote their products and services. Now, it's extremely important that when you talk about social media, you talk about businesses, not how you use social media. So we're looking at how businesses use social media in order to uh, make a profit and expose themselves in terms of finding a, a greater audience. Now, under the heading from the previous slide, I need you to explain that in this section that we're going to talk about the following. So you're going to talk about these are the sections that you need to talk about in under that heading. So developments in social media affecting the way businesses promote products and services, how businesses can use social media websites to support their business and aims and needs uh, and features of social media websites that are tailored specifically to business needs. So under the heading, explore the impact of social media on the ways in which businesses promote uh, their products and services. You need to explain how social media websites are constantly evolving and how new features are being introduced on a consistent basis. You need to make sure that you carry out research. These are the resources that you have here that if you go through, you can have a read about how social media has changed. So again, if I go back, we're looking at exploring the impact of social media on the ways in which businesses promote their products and services is overall heading under the section. And you need to explain how social media websites are constantly evolving and new features are being introduced. So what I've done, if I go to the first link here, what you can see is how social media has evolved over the past 12 years. If I go back there and just hit the second link, you can also see six ways in which social media is changing the world. So there are quite a few links there that you will need to make sure that you um, read through and start answering the questions. I need you to do at least one or two paragraphs so I can see how you're writing and make sure that you're on task. Again, other links here. If there are any questions, again, I will explain all this in class. Please come and see me.